Hey what up everyone welcome back to our channel and today we got some exciting news and rumors to discuss regarding your Rockstar games and your upcoming projects. So I don't want you guys not to miss any details so please make sure to stick around till the end. That's being said let's just dive right into the leaks. First off, we have some strong indication that Rockstar is planning on announcing Grand Theft Auto 6. But wait guys, there's more and alongside that, there are talks about remaster version of Red Dead Redemption and even the potential remake of Grand Theft Auto 4. Can you guys even believe this is happening right now? I mean like fans have been eagerly asking about Grand Theft Auto 4, hoping that it would also receive some love and attention. As I've seen in the last few days, the game is currently plagued with bugs and compatibility issues i actually played it and was free roaming around and making it almost unplayable on modern consoles and pcs it's actually a shame guys because many considered it one of the best gta games ever created with its incredible story setting and new environment however the decision to prioritize red dead redemption for remastered might be due to the fact that rockstar needs to focus on their main money maker that's gonna be grand theft auto 6 Releasing a new GTA game while simultaneously re-releasing an old could potentially confuse fans and dilute the hype. A Twitter user named Test2 has replied that do you all think the GTA 6 remaster could also be a possibility again? He replied that no. Red Dead Redemption 1 was more meant to be next project regardless, 4 was more in the air. This was actually said by Test 2 that it's gonna be GTA 4 that's gonna be remastered until the GTA 6 comes out. When asked Test 2 fund to elaborate this, he goes to reply that their long term plan was to expand to other non GTA series for GTA DE. This dates back 2 to 3 years ago, Red Dead Redemption 1 and Max Payne was eventually gonna happen. Rockstar and T2 had a future laid out for Grow Street Games all before the GTA DE fiasco. For T2, it's not just remasters but it's mobile industry too. Have you guys seen at Logan's thread? Unknown to most if not all of us, T2 recently acquired GameClub.io which is now leading development on the Rockstar mobile launcher. If GSD didn't fumble the bag, they would have been the ones leading the development. 4 was more possibility and that was before GTA DE. I think the important question is, if this happens to be true, who's gonna lead it, the developer? If it's Rockstar themselves, then it would be surprising considering we are getting closer to 4 release window. But this expands to a further discussion of how Rockstar have been thinking about the solution and ways over the few years to work on 2 or more games simultaneously without having to slow down significantly while reaching a major blockbuster release like GTA 6. If it's a new studio, then there is a hope for more remasters. This was said by Test 2 for elaboration of what that question was in the previous discussion we just had. Additionally guys, it's worth nothing that the Rockstar had plans to expand the other non-GTA series as well. And they even acquired GameClub.io for the mobile development as well. This could mean that they are considering a dedicated studio for remaster and higher quality projects to avoid any disappointment like we saw with the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. I think we need to talk about the Grand Theft Auto future. Some fans have suggested that the idea of continuously updating the single GTA title much like what we see in the games like Fortnite. However guys, from an economic standpoint, it might not be feasible for Rockstar and take Do Interactive that they would need to find ways to cover the entire increasing cost of development which could actually lead to more microtransaction and monetization strategies. So in my opinion guys, I believe that the Grand Theft Auto will never become a game solely based on continuous updates. Rockstar has shown the ability to improve their engine and technology, something that DLCs and expansions cannot achieve. We already seen this with Grand Theft Auto 5, where the updates started to feel dated compared to the advancements in technology over the past decade. So while we eagerly waiting for the announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6, it's important to understand that the Rockstar needs to strike balance between innovation and monetization. 
we don't want a game filled with excess microtransaction and ads let's hope that they find a way better to do this amazing gaming experience without compromising the integrity of the franchise now i know some of you guys might be thinking that the announcement of the red dead redemption remaster or remake will be delayed for the announcement of grand theft auto 6. i believe rockstar is giving us something to enjoy while we patiently wait for the next installment and considering the huge market for red dead redemption it only makes sense to capitalize on its popularity before shifting everyone's attention to gta 6. Well folks, that's all we have for today's video. What are your thoughts on the Grand Theft Auto series and the Red Dead Redemption Remaster? And also the delay of Grand Theft Auto 4's remake. Do you guys think the Rockstar should prioritize these projects or focus solely on GTA 6? Let us know in the comment section below. We love hearing from you. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, please make sure to hit that bell notification and also hit that subscribe button for more GTA series leaks. Thank you guys for watching once again and until next time, happy gaming.